بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہے اور آج میں اپنے ایڈیل اور ایڈیل اور ایڈیل اور ایڈیل اور ایڈیل ایڈیل اور 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 ای And the practical is the commercially available diode unit to us, all right? So, so, so first let me draw the diode symbol. This is the P side of the diode represented like this. Then we have the depletion layer and then we have the N side. Similarly, let me draw another over here. All right. So, now uh, let's say I consider the forward bias and the reverse bias condition so let this red color be representing the forward bias fb and this blue color be representing the reverse bias rb so what do we have in the forward bias in the forward bias the p is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the n is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so what happens we have a generous flow of current generous flow of current which is id and this id is equal to i majority minus i minority and this is the direction of id fine now what happens in the reverse bias the negative is connected to the p side and the positive is connected to the n side so we have a very small current which is always approximated to zero the diode current is only due to the reverse saturation current which is the current due to the minority charge carriers so this is in this direction this is a very small current is usually in the range of microamperes but it is always neglected to be zero now what happens so if we have a generous flow of current through it so isn't it like a closed mechanical switch a very huge amount of current so this is like what like a closed mechanical switch why because we have current through a switch right this is a switch so we have current through it we don't have any voltage drop because the resistance is zero all right i missed the point of resistance first we have the point of resistance the diode resistance is very small in the forward bias in the forward bias the diode resistance let's say diode resistance and let me mention it by rd is very small ideally speaking this is the practically it is very small so a generous flow of current takes place for an ideal diode for ideal diode this is supposed to be zero rd is equal to zero so in the forward bias what will the diode do it will act as a closed mechanical switch isn't it so so if this is the switch this has been closed so we have a large amount of current passing through it now if if the current is zero through something so the current is zero through an open circuit so which means open circuit has what it has a very high resistance so this resistance is very high in the in the reverse bias state and which means that ideally ideally which means in the ideal diode rd is infinite so in the reverse bias state what happens it acts as a as an open switch so if this is the representation of a switch what happens the current through it is 
zero. Is it fine? But but what is the difference between a switch and a, and a diode? So the difference between a switch and a diode is what? That a switch allows current. Switch it allows current in only one direction. Uh, allows current in both directions through it. Whereas a diode, a diode is different in a way that only current flows in only one direction through it. So this is the difference between a switch and a diode. Okay, so now I draw the, the VI characteristics of an ideal and a practical diode. So, so, so let me remove this part of it, alright. The reverse bias portion I have removed. So if this is the current ID, ID axis and this is the VD axis. I hope it is visible online. So now in the ideal diode what happened? In the practical diode we have already seen that a current is zero till the barrier potential is achieved and then this is VB. And then what happens? An exponential rise. Similarly, in the reverse bias state, we have the reverse saturation current and we have a V breakover voltage. And then like this. So this is a normal curve. Now, this is for the ideal diode. For the practical diode, sorry. Now, the, the voltage from the Ohm's law, we see that the voltage is ID, RD. This would be the voltage across the diode, RD. All right? So for, uh, for an ideal diode, what happens if Rd is 0? If Rd is, we have seen in the forward bias state, uh, forward bias was with the red color. So forward bias has Rd 0. So which means that the voltage across the diode is 0. And the current, what happens? Id is equal to Vd by 0. So the current is undefined, which means it is maximum. So the curve is just on the vertical axis for an ideal diode. So this green color represents the ideal diode. Now for the reverse bias, the reverse bias, what happened? We saw that Rd was infinite which means that the voltage across it would, would, would lead to the negative and finite point. And if we talk about the current, so ID is equal to VD by an undefined point, which is a very high point. So ID is equal to VD by RD. So this would now be equal to zero, which means the VD is extending and the current is zero. So now this point lies on the horizontal axis like this. Well, I just draw it above the horizontal axis so that it is visible so this is your VD alright so the blue color represents the green color represents the ideal diode and the blue color represents the practical diode is it fine so that's all about this lecture that's all about the ideal versus practical diode in the next lecture we see the resistance levels or Diode equivalent circuit, so any one of them. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.